this is Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about uh, some newly shown Marvel Legends figures. These were shown at San Diego Comic Con 2017. We have the official image here, and we do have an image of them in their box, which I will be showing soon. Uh, but this is quite exciting. This is this is the type of two-pack that uh, that I think will really be popular. It's obviously an army building two-pack, and it's a Hydra um, two-pack with a Hydra soldier, and then I believe they call him like a, a Hydra enforcer, something like that. This this is pretty neat. The Hydra soldier himself, I believe that he is just completely uh, repackaged from the um, Captain America Mandroid Build-A-Figure series. Actually, the, the first series of Marvel Legends when they got their repackaging. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I do, I have that figure already, and I've always kind of wanted a few more, um, but really didn't want to pay the uh, the money to buy them because they did kind of go up in price as people wanted to army build them. Um, but it's nice to get another figure of that. And then there's this other Hydra Soldier, which is kind of, you know, it's not the best made. It's really just Nuke. Uh, it's the Nuke figure just repainted with a Captain Britain head that's obviously repainted so I mean it fits together it does look very nice together but it, it's kind of lazy in the fact that it is just all repaints um, which is unfortunate but it's still kind of neat what's really kind of neat about this two-pack though is how much stuff it comes with it is really kind of packed uh, which I love and what's great is it allows you to have to buy multiple uh, uh, multiple of these sets and to kind of pose and to display your Hydra soldiers in different ways. So as you can see we do have two head sculpts those two head sculpts, I'm not sure if either of them are reused or not. Uh, they look kind of unique to me, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're new. Um, but it does look very cool, and again, it allows you to, to pose them in, in or to, to have multiple Hydra Enforcers and, and have them have like different heads so they don't look completely the same, which is very nice. And then the other two uh, head sculpts that, that you get, one is the Taskmaster one, uh, which I don't, that doesn't fit on a Hydra Soldier in my opinion, so I don't know what that's about. I don't think that that's going to look good. Is it actually from a comic or anything? Because that just seems like it's they just repainted it to look like a Hydra thing and threw it in this package. That, to me, doesn't fit at all. And then there's the uh, the helmet that came with Nick Fury uh, that, that you used as a, um, a shield soldier. I think that that works for Hydra. Uh, you know, it fits in, but, you know, I don't think it's necessarily... It doesn't scream Hydra to me, but it still works, in my opinion. And as you can see, you can have him... You can have the regular one displayed with his regular vest, like from the Captain America wave or you can display him with this vest see here's the other one this vest does look very cool and that to me looks unique I don't I can't picture that on another figure but I would be kinda surprised if it is 100% unique and then as far as the weapons go you're gonna get this uh, uh, this knife that was from nuke so it's a repaint from nuke you have this um, rocket launcher which is a repaint from the movie Drax you have this kind of alien type weapon which is that's been used a couple times it was used with the Hydra soldier um, no, maybe not. No, it was used for the AIM soldier, and then it was used with, um, uh, most recently with Nuke, I believe he came with one of those. And then there's this weapon, which is another kind of futuristic kind of Tommy gun that came with the chameleon. And then there's this weapon. This is the only weapon that might be new, although I'm pretty sure it, w it came with the, uh, Scourge, was it? A from the Captain America wave? I believe that was the... That was the Onslaught Build-A-Figure. Yeah, so I believe that that's the gun that came with this. So I don't think that there's much unique about this pack. The vest uh, the, and the two head sculpts are the only things that I think are unique. Um, but other than that, it's just it's a bunch of repainted stuff. But it's still kind of neat, and it does allow you to, have, to buy multiple of these packs and to have your figures displayed in different manners and to have them look different. And obviously, being that these are soldiers, you can certainly buy a few of these. So I'm pretty excited for this pack. I think it looks cool. This, should, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see by that sticker. And, uh, and you know, I'll be interested to see how popular this is. I could see this being very hard to find, or I could see them just packing the shelves with them. That you know, uh, that they're they're packed uh, in general. So it'll be interesting to see how popular this is. I'll probably pick up. I would like to pick up two, but I would like to get them on some sort of discount. That would be kind of nice. But there you go. It's a nice way to army build uh, your Hydra Soldier collection. They have made Red Skull before, of course, so you can have them standing behind Red Skull, looking pretty neat. So there you go. That's my thoughts on this Hydra two pack, which uh, includes. A Hydra Soldier as well as a Hydra Enforcer. Let me know what you guys think of this pack and thanks so much for watching.